corruption or be bad kote. Del duma pa le 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 weeds kai amen with the with the wheat. I pon me del duma pa le manus kai sechora le manus kai sulashen. Even in his time, he's dealing with Pharisees while he's uh, while he's there to anel uh, a light to the world. Le uh, Pharisees ma bente rimon swako fellow at that shabeno message and. It's no coincidence that chapter four talks about uh, unity. It talks about uh, many pieces of the body and Christ fitting them perfectly together. And then it talks about one baptism, one heart, one, uh, one body, one spirit, one Lord. And uh, but it ends in a in a weird way. Uh, after all that, it ends in terakazemi kataro bitterness, terakazemi tenavas unforgiving. Because every one of us, we're a part of a church, uh, we're a part of a ministry, and the truth of the matter is, no matter how great things are, I build bitterness, I build uh, a place, guys, I build a unforgiveness. Uh, I, 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 uh, maybe and I'll speak for myself. Sometimes you get a little bitter for pastor. You get a little upset. Uh, you get a little upset the way things are going. And uh, at that time, it, it affects everything. It affects the first the, the unity in the church, of course, and then it's going to affect the, the purity in, in the person. Uh, and then it's going to mess up the harmony in the house because because you're bitter on the pastor, because you're bitter on the, the church. She might just do a mess such like with the kids, your little your, your snap case with the kids. Uh, <laughs> so this is a this is what takes place, and uh, you, you're not stable anymore. And it's important that uh, it's important that we we I wanted to bring this up because now Paul says body divano, body in chapter five, he says, therefore, and they and the therefore is there because he's talking about the the last sentence he had, uh, be kind and, and, and be forgiving. Let's read it. Let's read the last sentence in 31 of uh, chapter 4. Uh, get rid of bitterness, rage, anger, harsh words, and slander, as well as all types of evil behavior. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, forgave you. When we adopt Godot attitude, and this is the way I feel, you guys can know. Uh, Please share on it. When we adopt Kako attitude, we're exact, we're doing exactly what Paul goes into. And what he goes into is imitate God, therefore. Therefore, what I told you, imitate God in everything you do, because you are his children. Uh, and there's a period there. That means that that's the sentence. It stops there. You are his children. Imitate God. Give me some examples, guys, on the imitating God. Uh, uh, anybody just loving each other, amen. Compassion, amen. And if I can make a comment, it's not necessarily that Paul is implying that God doesn't have wrath or anger, that's but we right, know that God is perfect, and even his wrath and anger is perfectly uh, that's righteous. Right. Good point. So, as his imitators of God. I would say it's okay to be um, righteously uh, anger, uh, to have righteous anger, and but not a sinful anger. Well, he, he said that, I think it was in chapter 4. He said, don't sin in your sin. anger. Right. Uh, o, o, o Cristo, he, even though he turned the tables in the temple, he still was under control. His, his passion, his anger was driven by a holy passion. They couldn't work on Ladil. And he, he died for those uh, uh, merchants the same way he died for me and you. So, Avelo uh, Manus anger, but where is your anger? Uh, in your anger, don't sin because it, the, in chapter four, it gives a foothold to the devil. And uh, I don't, know, I don't know if I explained it last week, but a foothold uh, is, if you look up foothold on, on Google, you're going to see a lot of rock climbing because it's just something, guys, I told you for what to get a leg up at the jazz of proud. And that's what we're doing. Come when we were kids, to give them a lift. 
That's what a foothold is. Uh, when we start to sin in our anger, it is choliai, unforgiveness. It starts to give the Duzmano a foothold. They can open his kibbutzi on the ministry. Now, we give them that foothold. Uh, I got you, can also, uh, you can also put a foothold uh, for someone who opens the door. I turn up on the wudad. It's hard to close that door afterwards. That's right. I think that would Very be good. more difficult than uh, climbing over the first. That's right. And God, God, an imitator of God, I would say, is to uh, give mercy where sometimes mercy uh, isn't. Uh, you're in the right place. I you 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 give mercy. Uh, well, you know, I, I'm in the rights here. But the the imitation of Christ of God is. Even though you're in the rights, because Chido writes, uh, they to win someone over, or that is Pacha, that is Hodina, uh, that is uh, to win someone to Christ, or the Dichel uh, or Gloria de Vlesco. Uh, an imitator of Christ, I would say, is uh, to give grace uh, to, to an undeserving person. They will tell us, well, you know what? Chimai Penab Kanchi, just let it go. Just let it go. And those are tough things. Those are not easy things. To be an imitator of, uh, of God, I would say, is uh, to love those that are hard to love. It's easy. They, I can love every one of you guys because it's easy to love you guys. But uh, it's, it's hard when you're talking about someone guy or someone guy uh, really maybe you got an issue with. Or, and it's important to imitate Christ in that, to, to love our enemies, Penazo or Jesus. So... Yeah. Imitator of Christ, anybody? Imitator of God, imitate God. Anybody else? Yeah, if we think about the justice that we deserved as sinful creatures, that's uh, right. Ephesians one, Ephesians two, we were dead in our sins and transgressions. Well, that's uh, the thought he's coming off of, Michael. The, the thought right. he's coming off of is forgiveness, as you were forgiven. Right. right. So that's the so, thought that he's coming off of. That's the thought that we're, we should always be in. That, and it's uh, humbling. It's humbling. It is. And that's what should spur us on to serve God. Because that's how grace becomes a teacher. Because when you understand the goodness of God and how I was an enmity with God, I was, a, uh, I was an enemy of God. And what does man? A grace. I try to what he forgave me. Uh, what can anyone do to me that they didn't do to the Son of God? Uh, and in that mind frame, it becomes a lot simpler to, to please God. Uh, imitate God, therefore, in everything you do, because you are his dear children. Live a life filled with love, following the example of Christ. He loved us and offered himself as a sacrifice uh, <clears throat> for us. Uh, for us, a pleasing aroma to God. My Dumun, Uncle John, uh, there was three sacrifices. Kaisas pleasing Kaldem. There was a sacrifice, a peace offering. There was a, uh, uh, a, 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 on the Purano Testament, it, when, those, when those scents would go up and be pleasing to God. I mean, when we live a life in, in love, it's, that, it's now where we become that Romans 12, that living sacrifice. Jesus He's the ultimate sacrifice. She might remove, but now it, our lives become an aroma to God that's pleasing to Him. Uh, and what a beautiful thing! Uh, like a beautiful perfume. Godel. Somebody go to First uh, John, First John three sixteen. I know we know uh, John three sixteen, but look at John later. Uh, in life, Soramol, uh, after he experiences uh, the the death of Jesus Christ and the forgiveness and the grace and the mercy of Jesus Christ, Dixomotolo John, somebody, whoever's got it, just read it. And this is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers and sisters. Huh? Now, look, look, what, what are we supposed to do, Uncle John? Go on the cross and die? No. No, but we can lay down our uh, our personal agenda. We can lay down what what we can lay down our our, uh, uh, our right, or we can lay down uh, so 
whatever, whatever it is, we can lay down for the sake of winning that brother over. Whatever it is, how can we lay our lives down? Taz Amaro, a best interest, Ligati, Amara Pralinga, Amara for the children of God. What can we do for the uh, for someone to lay our lives down? The Sagajolo Cristo, the Namotolomanus. Well, they're an imitator of uh, this pastor, they're an imitator of this ministry. No, we should all be imitators uh, of, of God through Christ. His love and forgiveness. And, and in this way, Sapenazo John, we already know. We already know. And that's how we should act as well. Uh, to leave our best interests to the interests of others. Dixon Motol in, in verse 3. Let there be no uh, immorality or impurity or greed among you. Such sins have no place among God's people. Obscene stories, I did think of obscene stories, foolish talk, coarse jokes. These are not for you. Instead, let there be thankfulness to God. Janes, Somotolo Paul is so stay you wasting your time, Pekakala Bucha. Buchak I sin kind of if you're gonna tell a uh, 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 a coarse joke or a Daniel uh, story, my Omanus de Devesco, you might as well just give thanks to God. I'll give you a, a, an example, uh, Uncle John and Shabogari, Michael, Walter. I'll give you guys an example. Budivan, I'll be complaining. I have no conviction, Pimandi, and I just, I got to turn the corner and we'll talk, well, you know what, whatever, thank God. And because complaining is a waste of time. I got uh, these things on the Christian Manososco trial, Chitrabun. They're not supposed to be there. So, O Palmoto, turn the corner and thank God. Make a vel kudogundo. Make not a, a joke by a, a course divano, but thank God. Thank God if you're gonna if you're gonna use your breath for anything, use it to thank God. Dixomoto, you can be sure. That no immoral, impure, or greedy person will inherit the kingdom of Christ and of God. You know, on the Kaved version, Moto, you know, now you can be sure. You know, you know, Kakomanus, nice copy me. If that, if a person is practicing Kakala Bucha, now Omanus Sabyupi, Omanus understandable, but if that person delights on coarse jokes, Delights in foul language and the life that's not an imitator of God, that's not an imitator of Christ. If there, I got a friend, Monday Sukreno. I love desserts, I love sweets. Nasti Chab, I cannot have dessert, I love it. And being on a diet is hell. But I got a friend guy, he indulges in desserts. Like, I'll fin, I'll eat something and I'll be done with it. If I go with this guy to the to a restaurant, it'll take him an hour to halo keko. Each piece, every kono lelpes kotaimo. And some people do that with they enjoy coarse jokes, they enjoy foul language, they enjoy it's part of them. It's who they are. I, that's not supposed to be who we are as children of God. I will tell upon you know you know kodomanus has no part in the kingdom of God. You can be sure, you know, no immoral, impure, or greedy person will inherit the kingdom of Christ and of God. Uh, for a greedy person is an idolater, uh, worshiping the thing, uh, things of this world. Uh, on the Kavit version, we're told that he, uh, uh, he, he covets, uh, covet, coveting uh, something. He covets these things. I want this. Uh, 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 this is what I want. Uh, this is what I want. I you know, I found something out on the Kapo Posto. It's only been two days. But anytime you fast, wait, anytime you're in prayer, anytime you set your mind, the Bisas and Odil. Nasti because Buchapo television, Nasti Asunez course divano, Chia Beltukate Ominis uh Jungale. Jokes, right? They've anything wrong. 
because you're in the presence of God. Now, that shouldn't be just once a year, but I'm telling you what the experience you have when you're in prayer and fasting, when you're in the presence of God. Right away, this, uh, I'm bold as a channel. Right away, this to gojite na mutoskodo. Right away, this to gojite na chastu legajesa. Right away, this to gojite na karas or this to gojite kara. And I'm this duma kara. Why? Because you want to keep yourself uh, uh, in a in a in a place, guy. Say gojis to I say gojis le debes, and you want to keep yourself on the deal. And that's the way it should be. Swap ojes. Swap ojes for a Christian. Not that they once a year for a 7, 14, or 21 day fast. Amen? Let's go on. Verse 6. Ronnie, I got a question. Go ahead. Just to, what, what version are you reading? In the, in, okay, you keep, because sometimes I lose you in, in the I'm verse. Sorry, but Johnny, uh, totally. What verse? What uh, the living translation? Version. Are oh, you the reading living. the living? Living. Am I easy? Uh, no, no, good, because I got a Kabir translation and totally different, and I lose you when you go to the next verse. I'm sorry. Uh, we're, we're no, no, verse that's six. good. That's all right. Verse we're 6, verse all right. Six. And if it says it differently in the, on the Chiro Bible, a little, uh, bring it up and we'll talk about it. Uh, Pinga, on the verse 6, don't be fooled by those who try to excuse these sins, the ones we just talked about, course joking, uh, uh, stories and don't be fooled by people who try to excuse these sins uh, for the anger of God will fall on all who disobey him let me tell you something O Manus that practices kapo lifestyle uh, you know oh, oh, Paul Moto, you know I will excuses this is the excuse uh, all the time serious. Now, see us all the time uh, saw Bible scripture. That there are no kodo reasoning. There are no kodo reasoning because kodo reasoning make all room, sa penazo Frankie, make all room, they told us mano pesco po wander. Make all room, they, the desil ka dus mano fudho. Why? Because you're justifying sin. You're giving sin place. And sin has no place when Christ suffered the way he did to set us free from sin, to set us free from that wrath, to set us free from that. Sin has no place to be justified. You can't justify something Jesus, to your justifying that. The, the power of the Holy Spirit, the, the anger of God, so all he has is an expectation of judgment. You've got a you've got a pretty strong scripture over here, boys. Uh, chapter verse five. Uh, you can be sure that no immoral, impure, or greedy person will inherit the kingdom of Christ and of God. In my version, yeah, because so the greedy person is an idolater. Now it, it, it's telling me, show it. He's talking to Christians here, and he's telling me that. All right, the kingdom of Christ is one thing, but the kingdom of God is another thing. How it is. And then he explains it in verse 6. Don't be fooled by those who try to excuse these sins. Anybody who practices these sins, I even gives an excuse. I'm going to tell my country, I'm going to tell pastor. Hey. Come on now, guys. We, we live in this world. Come on, we're just having a little fun. Hold on. Uh, there's people listening to us. There's people watching us. There's people that are trying to put their finger on us. Shavuari, how it is, and I think that's what the, uh, I think that's what Paul's trying to get to here. Remember who he's talking to. He's talking to a people that were surrounded by idols that come from a, a place of idol worship that come from a place of then uh, I attention I think trial to other gods. So, Kakoma, Kakado, Paul, Manga, Vilkamotoninga, a mouse that practices these things, an idolater, an idolater, nice copy me. If you worship anything else, Frankie, you're not saved. Of course. You can't be saved and worship something else. So, an idolater, Manuska worship, Le Manuska worship in as Antunchi, worship in as Lagaja, or Paul and Kaladalia no Kodo. He's messing up our business because no one's worshiping Diana anymore. 
So on that day to the worship of God, I a worshiper of God, Jesus copy me, Janelle. Of course, jokes, I don't, I won't talk. I don't give excuses for them. Pastor Anthony, God bless you and your family. Happy New Year. So then, Sajit and Amara Zwika Tachabal. All right. We got it. <laughs> so, um, uh, very important, Frankie, that Gargamo uh, told Paul that, listen to me, Aratu uh, from these things, let us summer from these things. Don't give, uh, don't make it an Aratu from the people that are making excuses. This is what told in verse seven. Brownie. Yeah, go ahead. Michael's got something to say. Oh, I'm sorry, Michael. Go ahead. No, no, don't worry. About it. I'm sorry. Um, I just oh. wanted to make a comment about verse six. Come on. Um, that I think a big point is that the unbeliever, the one who isn't a new creation in Christ, the one who is reveling in these sins and filthiness and so on, they live their whole life in the mission of suppressing the truth that judgment is coming, that That's God's right. wrath will be poured out. Their whole life right. is aimed to suppressing that by trying to silence that um, right. as if it's not going to happen. They're unaware of it and it, that day will not come. So something I was thinking is that we should take this as a, even a, a greater push to preach the gospel Amen. to an unbelieving world, to a dying, a lost God bless you, Michael. world who needs Christ to, Amen. to tell the world that God's wrath is coming. It's uh, real. Uh, being poured out on uh, these things. It's it, absolutely. It's real. It's and, and instead of lightning, li uh, making light of it, oh, well, Christian, they both take it all serious. And it talks about that a little later on. Christopher, you want to share something? Yeah, just uh, he mentions all these things not to, uh, you know, be a part of such things. But if we go back to chapter four, uh, verse 22. Throw off your old sinful nature, your former ways of life, uh, of life which is corrupt uh, by your lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature created uh, to be like God, truly righteous and truly holy. When we have that attitude of our thoughts and everything has to change, both inward in our minds and both outward, how we're reacting. There's people watching us, our witness. Who are you representing? That's going to uh, change your outlook com completely. And that, that preaches to the world. That preaches to a dark world without saying a word. And Michael has That's a right. point because the person who is actually practicing these things, this is his life. This is what he does. Not he good does good I am Manuska makes light of it. She will she will tell him Manu Suska ka del kodo wrath because oh del so serious pa ka chabuti. I trouble of forgiveness let the bless go trouble take set these the Christo soste. Kapero kodo judgment for Manus. I but even we allow the the well let's just let's let the Bible speak for itself. Dixon will tell verse seven. Don't participate in the things these people do. For once you were full of darkness, but now. You have light from the Lord. Now that means you're learning. That means now God has brought these things to light. So live, so live as people of the light. For this light within you produces only what is good and right and true. Carefully determine what pleases the Lord. On the verse 11, take no part in the Worthless deeds of evil and darkness. Instead, expose them. Now, did some told Paul to the power of the Holy Spirit. Instead, rebuke those things. Instead, you know what? That offends me. You know what? You know what? Kodo joke. Nasa, walk away. You know what? That story is so unnecessary that we could be thankful. We could be giving God glory. We can be uh, have a, an attitude of or this kahazli de this. And now uh, here's a circle like das duma jungales. Let's uh, uh, you know re, you, your our own responsibility is to expose that. To, but how about exposing it in ourselves? How about exposing it to have that light to expose ourselves? Great aratu from that thought. Aratu from that because you're learning. You're growing. Rebuking yourself, correcting yourself. If we if we allow it, if we give way to it, Joe, 
it's going to go. And it's going to be, it's going to be, it'll make light of Christianity. Christianity is serious. Really? You know what I mean? And then, and and if, I'm in a, if I'm in a circle, there's nobody who loves to joke more than me. If I'm in a circle, I make off the job, coarse jokes, coarse stories. I make just be up with the eyes out. Then I'm allowing it. I'm doing what the Corinthians did. They're patting them on the back and they're bringing them in. And they're uh, no. Oh, Paul Pines, kick them out. Kick them out. This And that's exposing it. That, Ron, go I, ahead. I, gotta, I wanna bring something up real quick because it's oh. a um you said that the people that participate in these things um were not saved or were never saved or they left the, the truth? What what category are you putting them in? Well, it says those people, it's talking about people that are idolaters. I would say, All right, well, let me ask you a question. It's obvious that he's speaking here to the church. So there's this was an issue within the body of Christ. This was a problem. So these people would be baptized. They would be um, participants participants in the the lord's table and it's obvious this was a a uh, a problem in the church you know as we know from philippians paul kind of eases into church issues he doesn't always hit them right on the nail at the okay okay so at this particular point there would be he's speaking to two groups of people number one people who are leading others into this and I'm going to read this list. It's sexual. It's actually seven. There's seven things on the list, and they're all on equal footing. We can't differentiate one from Go ahead. the other with the impossibility difference of idolatry. He re went a little bit harder on the idolaters than the greedy. It's uh, sexual immorality, any impurity, greed, filthiness, foolish talk, vulgar joking, and an idolater, which is a greedy person. Um, that's that's seven. So he's speaking to two people, two groups of people here. It's obvious. Number one uh, group was people that are leading others into this. It says that uh, don't be fooled by empty words. In other words, there's people that are making it okay. They're they're actually opening the door to leading other people. In. But he's also speak, speaking to people who seem to be um, falling into this trap. Would you agree or disagree? He's concerned. I, I think it's a warning against it. Yes. Yes. It said it well, actually does a play. Warning, he does a play. He does a play on words here because initially in in ver, the first verse he says beloved children. He puts them in the category of beloved children, and by the time we get to um um da, 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 verse six, he calls the sons of disobedience. So we've got. There's definitely a connection there because they're both children. Um, but if they were never saved um, and they're baptized and they're within the body of Christ, um, how, who makes that decision of what do they do? Get baptized again? No, your baptism was illegitimate. You didn't have a proper conversion. What, what, uh, what's the I, approach to that? I, I think that there's a, a, there's a clear distinction. I mean, you may see it differently. I think that there's a clear distinction because he's saying, don't do what these people do. He's saying that that's not what you do. He's saying that the, these people are uh, uh, idolaters, that they're, they're worshiping the things of this world. How do we justify that? The Bible uh, in, other, in other places says to be a, a, a friend of the world is to be an enemy of God. And an enemy of God isn't, isn't saved because uh, now that we've been saved, we're friends of God. So... Uh, to me, so you're saying these are people I don't, I don't outside of Christianity. I don't see Christianity when he says that you know I'm you just, won't. I'm these just trying to lay hold of, of of how you see Paul's mind in this. Is this people that were outside the body of Christ leading people astray, or was this within the church that were? I think it was in the church. I agree. Verse six, Shavuot. I think some of it. Don't be fooled by those people. Right. He put them in a category, Shavuot. They're in a category. And there's a warning here. Yes, Wade is right. There's a warning here, Shawarari. And this is what he's warning about. People, personally, I could be wrong like many times. These people weren't saved. 
Well, let me tell you something. There's no, there's no, there, there's no playing around here. You know, Jesus penned us. Not everybody who says they're a Christian is going to enter the kingdom of God. That's so, right. When you read, when you read Paul saying, you know for sure that these people have no inheritance, and then you've just read three chapters, that you are not only have you not only have an inheritance, but that you are God's inheritance. Then God, God, how can you how can you count them as saved? They may be professed, they may be in the church, hey. but the truth of the matter is, is we got a lot of people that like Lo Hulk and Del Duma O Paul and the Corinthians, he was in the church. But a Paul Penaz, I judged him already. Pastor Ronnie. Well, actually, that's a little bit different because he was actually told Why is he morality? To leave the church. He was literally they commit Paul commanded them to have him excommunicated there's no such order attached to this situation here though um i just think it's something that, because he says don't have anything to do with him michael go ahead yeah i i just wanted to make a quick comment i won't take up too much time um i think our question is helped out as if we just flip back to uh, chapter two in verse uh two um in which you once walked following the course of this world following the prince of the power of the air the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh. So uh, Paul identified the sons of disobedience earlier on in chapter two. That's right. Those who are being led by the spirit of the power, the prince of the power of the air following him. Okay. So to say that Christians could at simultaneously be following the prince of the power of the air, yet indwelt by the Holy Spirit who set us free, I think that would be blurring the text i, I, I would i would oh, tend no, to agree no, without it without a doubt i'm not saying that i think i think we agree, agree as well uh that uh what we're talking about here is the difference between lordship um salvation and those that have forfeited the covenant um I, which i think is two different two different subjects okay but, uh, i i don't um, think that the text is uh dealing with that though here i just think it's just making a a distinction very uh, good piece. of non-believers well, i understand, and, uh, I understand that, but ronnie think, uh, said ronnie, god is not a fool he will not be mocked uh but ronnie said that they were not saved and that's why we're we're on this no, well, I I also, I, in my interpretation i think paul says it to the power of the Holy Spirit, he said you know you can be sure that these people have no inheritance in the kingdom of god anthony go ahead oh what we have in, in chapter 5 in this text, we have a, a clear contrast between what's godly and what's not. Amen. And if we start to see and find the middle, that's when we start to go astray from the text. And that's when we start to maybe walk the line of bad doctrine. There is a clear distinguish, uh, distinction between Amen. godly and ungodly. There's a contrast. A contrast is a difference. It's a, it's an obvious difference. It's it's black and white. It's light and dark. Uh, verse one makes an amazing statement. He says, "Be imitators of God." God, uh, that that right there sets up the text. That's a very it's high standard. That it, that it, it's very, amazing very that it says imitators of God. It, that's a, that's an amazing statement because he's like like wade said he's he's setting this up to expose the counterfeit because Very good at, at this time Kangari, the church is flourishing at this time there's churches not a church but churches now you have pastors you have servants and then now it becomes easy to counterfeit it now it becomes easy to copy because it's it's kind of publicized now uh so Paul is exposing the counterfeit this is what we have today what we have is counterfeit people they are illegitimate they are not children of god they are not imitators of god they are counterfeits so this is what you have in chapter five you have a clear contrast of what is godly 
and what is not godly, what is the children of light and what is the children of darkness. It, it's it's a clear, it's a clear. Let's 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 continue. Let's continue verse 12. Let's see what verse 12 and 13 say. I think we should stay on this subject a little bit more, Ron. Oh, There's we are. We're not. That, that, it doesn't change. change. I'm not changing it because okay. it's, it's I mean, a let clear me just... distinction in 12 and 13. Go ahead, Uncle John. Why do we have to throw it? Can we take the scripture personally as though Paul is talking to me and say we sitting over here and talking about somebody else? This book was written 2,000 years ago, and now I'm reading it, and I'm Very reading good. it, and I'm seeing what it needs to be for me, not for nobody else. Just for Very me. good, John. Okay. Good. Uh, let no one deceive you. That's talking to me. <laughs> Nobody else. When I read it, I'm not going to interpret it no other way. Manda Pinello Paul, the two sons on the Bezach in chapter two. You were you were following the evil deeds of the, the, the evil air that was walking. You was walking among them in chapter two, and then it comes to tell us that Nakana Anisam ledeblis komanus haytrubulte avas kavir fellow. Alas. Now, let me say this now. We're all 30, 40 year old Christians, okay? Now, do you tell me, I'm going to tell you my lifestyle. I sit down 13, from a couch, from a pato. I cannot stop Satan from playing with my brain. I go back in Boston, I go back in Florida. I used to do this, I used to do that. I probably feel I'm you know, Deborah. Take this out of my mind. I'm having a battle in my mind. I don't want to think of these things no more, Lord. Please help me. And then I pray. And now the Holy Spirit takes over. So I used to be that guy, but now I'm this guy. And I'm not going to let nobody deceive me like it says in verse 6. I'm a new person in Christ, okay? Amen. And this is what Paul is saying to these guys. Hey, idolaters. Amen. You have to take it personal. We can say, yeah, we're going out of the box. Let's stay in the box. Let's go, let's go, let's go verse 12. I want to read verse 12. It is shameful even to talk about the things that ungodly, ungodly people do in secret. But their evil intentions will be exposed when the light yeah. shines uh, on them from the light. For the light makes everything visible. This is why it said, awake, O sleeper, rise up from the dead. Now, we were once dead, but he's saying, awake, That's O right. sleeper, rise up from the dead. And Christ will give you light. So, Omanus guy practices got no lifestyle. Omanus has no inheritance. But I, I believe I can interpret the Bible. Can Motol has no inheritance in the kingdom of God or in Christ? Is not someone who's going to inherit uh, uh, everlasting life. That doesn't mean that I can write people off. San Penazo Maro Paolo Michael. This is, gives you a Christian all the more reason to live a pure life. That have harmony in the home, that have purity in their life, that have unity in the church. They teach a example of the church that is an impression of God, an imitation of God to a dark a world that can only wait for the judgment of God. I want them to want them to That's different. That is not a desire that doesn't attract anyone. But they're going to I seen people, I seen a woman today lose her uh, 64 year old husband who was healthy. He died from coronavirus, and today she was in a Bible study fasting and praying for uh, uh, to God. That's that's Christianity. That's, That's right. Because there's a heaven, there's an inheritance, there's a place, uh, practicing this other stuff. It's shameful to get a So, it's going to be exposed. Odell will expose it. 
this Bible study is not to expose the world. It's to expose me. It's to expose my thoughts. It's to expose, I, I say about me, my one thought. It's to expose, it's to make me a better person. But, uh, but like I said, this is to be an example. The first thing that Paul leads with is to be an example. Be imitators of God. Be imitators. To have his love, to have his compassion. That doesn't mean to write the people off. That means exactly so pinam. Could, uh, could I read the 15 down? Go ahead. Okay. So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity in these days. Don't act thoughtfully, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. Read the Bible for what God wants you to do, not Amen. for what what's happening in the church yeah Amen. you gotta understand what's happening in the church and you gotta be careful with what's going on and you gotta i don't know Shavali, but i paul here is really trying to teach me the reader what's happening here i got I yeah, just right it, on the money on that it, it's not a story about somebody about your judge your story send the letter to ephesians and it is and what's going on no, i see you can see Go ahead, Uncle John. Why is it, Kai that we do not fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities? It's the MC. That's in six. <laughs> That's exactly. next week. It, where are you, in six? No, in six? Yeah. Is it in six or five? In next time. In six. So you see, now this is what it's showing us. Kachi, I'm not going to be in the last time. I'm not going to be in the last time. I'm not going to be in the last time. They being done some understood. I doubt them in a way out. I'm even gonna tell you, I'm gonna go further up. I'm gonna give you a way. I'm gonna give you a, a helmet of salvation. I'm gonna give you the sword. I'm gonna give you the the breastplate. He's actually trying to help us become Christians. Now, yeah, John. it's good. Yeah, for the Ephesians too. One hundred. This is what it's talking about. For the Ephesians. Uncle John, and Anthony, I'll talk to you right after this. I will. I, I'll say this, and correct me if I'm wrong, Walter, or Frankie, or anybody, Wade, uh, Wade, Michael, Stevie. God bless you, Steve Sean. Happy New Year. I'll say this. In order to give the warning, there has to be the distinction. Go ahead, uh, Pastor Anthony. Uh, Johnny, my uh, Sokro is 100% right. Every hey, you could say that. that. Yeah, ahead, every scripture, Musaylis personal. Every every letter needs to be as though it was written to you personally. Everything must be applied to self. You must apply everything to self. But here's the thing to address uh, hey, Frank and John Brown. Now, Mr. Chodivano, but I want to go back to what you said last week. Don't let it change you. Don't That's let right. the atmosphere change you. Go ahead. No matter what happens, you stay firm. But here's the thing. Everything that Johnny and Fred Frank said is 100% true. Take it for yourself. Apply it to yourself. You want to know why? Because that creates the contrast. That creates the difference. We can't say that, oh, Johnny, Mugosokro, Penda, Sumas, Chimai Sum, Pahudaman Odel. That's the contrast against the contrast. Because what Paul is saying, Sumanuskai Penan, Ime Pahudilem, I Hohaven, Nai, still in darkness. So what, what Johnny is saying is the application to self, taking this personal, applying it to yourself, creates the contrast against the counterfeit. Yai Dali, I remember this man. He truly is changed. He truly is a son of God. He's truly transformed, born again. That creates the contrast. Now, if you don't apply scripture and don't take it personal, there'll never be a contrast. Right. There'll never be a light in a dark situation. Now, now, think so much how that Paul is preaching by the power of the Holy Spirit to unperfect people. Let's not let's not get off on a of wrong foot. Uh, there's nobody in this room that is perfect. We're unperfect people and we need warnings. And that's what's happening, I believe. Uh, I would say in, in verse 18, told, don't be drunk with wine because that will ruin your life. 
uh, and the uh, and the uh, Galatians, Ramol uh, or same manus that you're supposed that you're supposed to have self control and the ducho de deblesco. I cannot have so that self control. Whatever, whatever makes you lose self control, don't get uh, overwhelmed with that. Now, at this time, penas de manus mol like hanchinas linger. Uh, but uh, don't get drunk. I said, "Us show self control, karimos, show kaiu." That's a that that I believe is a warning to a believer. That I believe is a warning to a lamus guy. So, on the kangri, Walter, go ahead. Steve Churon, can you mute your mic because you're blocking everybody out, please? And you're flashing up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fix your phone, Steve. Or move away from the fish tank. <laughs> All right, I, I got something else. Come on, uh, uh, talk, Talking about the letter, it's really, I mean, it's a letter, but it's scripture. It's yes. when you talk about Ephesians, you're talking about a Bible. It's the, it's the word of God. Now, not too many people, maybe Walter knows him, Bob Frank knows him. You My know favorite, him? I know about it. Okay. Now, he loved to write letters. What you do is the one for the phone. We had phones in 1965, 66. Really? So he used to write letters to his daughter, Sonia. Really? Son, Dinky. And now Bonzo. I remember D Dinky, Bonzo. Now I used to remember that Dinky used to tell me I got his Bible and I got all his letters. Now, if I take Badia's letter, and I hear that he says, Sonio, son, 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 Ricky Chacho, son, 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 That's a real letter. You pinned on Pastor Ronnie that this was inspired by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> this is a spirit-filled book. Now, if I take Bada's letter and read it, and try to transform it to me. They don't apply He's to not you. talking about Mark. He's not talking about Shana. He's not talking <laughs> about Beba. He's talking about his kids. That's right. But this here is a spirit-filled book that we are all children of God. God and you. the mystery is that you Gentiles could be a part of the Jewish people. No, That's right. we are all one in Christ. And then, the so when we take the scripture, that's the way we got to get it. That's the way we got to read it. We can't I'm put it to nobody job. else because Baja's letters were just Baja's letters. This is a letter to the, to the world that you have to, you was a sinner, now you're not no more. Uh, now you got to watch yourself from these people. Don't get drunk on wine. And I'm telling you, because... There's going to be a time that you, you, you're going to try. Satan is going to deceive you. I smell the devil, but I got a way. I'm going to show you. I got a way. I got something over here. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to teach you how to do it. Got it? Very That's good. That's what I got to say. Very good. Okay, I can say you're, this. You're 100% right, Ronnie. What you're doing, you're giving us no, the whole time. You, you're, you're, you're right, right on the money, but we have to this, take it for, for I, ourselves. I agree. I agree 100%. Uh, and I want to say if the Pushkazo Badia and the Ricky Chacho was a prophet, she Pushkazo is Chacho Antunchi. All right, yeah. let's go. Come on, let's go on. Uh, verse uh, verse eighteen. Don't be drunk on wine. Uh, don't be drunk on wine because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, and making the most and making music to the Lord in your hearts and give thanks for everything to God the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Amen. Uh, I want to just uh, go back to what I said earlier, that because of this fast, Uncle John, uh, and God forgive me, because I'm. it should be like this always, but the truth of the matter, it's, let's be real, it's not. Because God go fast, I've got Christian music playing on the Bible, some Ujima, my boot. I'm trying to stay away from uh, uh, just uh, other things to not get distracted. And let me tell you something. Uh, you, you hear the voice of God clearly. You, uh, it brings you closer to God. And 
And, and I think that's uh, the one thing to be filled with the Holy Spirit is not something that happens in a powerful service. It's not something that happens in a revival or retreat. No, it's Kanakarol Manusa decision. I have Amen. From being filled with wine, now wine antunchi could be uh, drabages, could be uh, could be uh, 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 complaining, it could be uh, 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 something else, something else that we're dealing with. Every one of us are dealing with something. I'm not making an excuse for wine, but like wine, don't be filled with that stuff. Don't get drunk with that stuff. Don't let that stuff lead you astray. It could be an unforgiving heart. It could be anger. It could. But Araktu, that something doesn't let you lose control because remote chotrayo. But instead, skodo buchika i peraltu. Should they have I make peraltu ro duho le devlesko? Make peraltu la shimos le devlesko? Ya sunez lesko glasu? Because Antunchi, uh, Antunchi, you're gonna you're gonna encourage yourself. You're gonna encourage others. I sit there bel sari gili. The uh, you a lot of times we're in the car, right? Gila uh, jaran. Just that little presence that the Vesco can sit Gili. A lot of times Gili sit on the Gogie. Just that little presence that the Vesco. And that's that's the 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 joy I mangolo delta del mascal le pal. I am the amaro trio. Think of be filled with the Holy Spirit. Think of they do my cabeza gilansa. Gilansa. It's hard to be unforgiving, kind of gilabis. It's hard to be unfor uh, bitter, kind of gilabelo manos. It's hard to be a mean kind of jilabo. You ever seen a mean person seen and be mean at the same time? It doesn't happen. You can't be mean. I did this out of my but jilabis. It don't. It, those, there's two different things there. So katao pomoto be in a place guy pedo san le duhosa le duhosa sad san in a in a in a heart of singing, in a heart of gratitude, in a heart of thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. You know something, I was thinking, while you were talking, I was thinking, it's the same person, Paul, that wrote, I don't know where it's at, Kai Pinope, physical exercise is good, but spiritual exercise is even better. We need what you're saying is exercise. Amen. You're exercising spiritual wisdom when you're thinking about these things, when you're singing. I put on the television today, I went to Google, and I went to Gypsy Music, and I put on Cup de Clanley Gila. And this is what I was going to do. I'm going to put you on the spot. Next week, listen, you're going to be on. I, I, I forgot I wanted you to do it now. But I'm going to, I want you to sing us a song. I'm going to pick the song. <laughs> and next week, that's, yes, it's not going to open up in prayer. You're going to you sing a song. You're going to sing for the Lord. We're okay, that's the way we're going to open up. Gila Bisle de Bleske, and that's the way we're going to, we're going to open up next Amen. week. Amen. All right, Amen. so think about you know, what you're going to see, and we'll just go with that. But, Dick, there's another the, the, the spiritual exercise. There's another scripture I know is one of my favorite scriptures. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16, Penelope. Uh, our, our physical body is dying, but our spiritual, uh, our, our spiritual body uh, is being renewed. Daily, Amen. we become sick and we become old, but spirit man becomes greater and greater. This is Amen. what we're doing, no Amen. matter how old you are. Out of this, I think the, 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 the physical exercise is good, but the spiritual is better Amen. because our spirit is being renewed day by day. <laughs> Amen. You know, you know, Ron, it's so rare. Uh, if you've ever tried to do a Bible study on worship, um, there's not much in the New Testament about songs, about hymns, about the choir. Um, there is a lot in the book of Psalms, but this is a very powerful, um, very good way. Ind indication that music was a very important part of the Christian life back in the days of the uh Yes. People uh, hope they way greet each other with a kiss and a song, uh, right. right? Right. It's a, it's amazing. It actually goes into types of music. Um, what's the list here? Um, what version? Uh, no, that's uh, in uh, 18. 
Uh, okay, I guess I... speaking to each other, I, I'm in the, in the New American Standard. Psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, yeah. singing and making melody with your hearts to the Lord. I mean, that's a wide-ranging category. That's a Bible study in itself right there. What that's, a beautiful that's a, attitude. That's a, two, that's a two-week Bible study right there. You go into all those in the Greek and the... I mean, uh, you know how many times I've tried to do a, uh, a Bible study on worship and music in the church, and uh, um, there's not much scripture there. Um, yeah. But here, yeah. you could really get into that because it lists types of songs back in those days. It goes when it goes back to uh, the the Bible gives us a glimpse into heaven. God loves music. He loves music, and uh, uh, when when we're when we're uh, have a, a song in our heart in the bless guy now it, it's funny because it says be filled with the holy spirit then then sing a song and then uh, I've been, uh, because the truth of the matter is i've been on choir mostly all my life and i seen guys just great entertainers they sing they're, they're, i mean but then i seen the guy that really don't have a well, voice but he's filled with the holy spirit <laughs> and the people repent and the, 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 the presence right. of God fills that place. And that to me is what happens first. And then I will a And uh, I thank the Lord. But let me tell you, uh, individually, oh, oh, Uncle John Penaz, we're taking it as individuals. I bought all manus and we're getting strong under them. And I hope I, for myself, I'll say these Bible studies have, uh, they corrected me. They rebuked me. They've, uh, they, I, I grown, but now it talks about the household, uncle John. I believe that we take, uh, this for granted because she, I, you think that, but we find it embarrassing I mean, they're you don't hear a lot of people praying with their wives or getting their kids together and praying or <laughs> sharing with their with their family scripture. Uh, you know, talk about spiritual warfare. Wow, that's that's <laughs> that's, that's, that's so many ways. And this is done. what this is what is important. I Delta Chabuchi out. He brought it to Janas Vikapo. Uh, we got to be on the Amaro Kur, the Avaz uh, level. Uh, oh, the Bible will tell, don't be unevenly yoked. I, oh, oh, how's divided against itself, Pendazo Jesus? She besela. I, Nasti Avaz Kur to a Romika, she janele Bible, but she wants to know, soste o Rom spiritual and the Kangri, soste spiritual meanings, but I will Kur, I, Ben. He doesn't see that. Le kids mangan janen sosti mugodad se pa pulpit ay karanles de manus de wujupe ay all over the world jante de wujupe manusan la kaholik se but chikido na mani. I'm going to something. What a hypocrite! Hypocrisy, my friend. Very good. That guy's not safe. So in order to keep us from hypocrisy, go ahead, Frankie. I'm sorry. No, but just making a joke. Long as it's not chorus, Dan. Uh, <laughs> uh, but hold on, that could it could be even be foolish talking. We're going to be now. Oh, oh, Odell Sukabella Minga to be uh, and Pete. You, I know you, I know you're getting this because Odell Mano fully rounded Christians. Odell Manus whole. Odell Manus uh, complete, mature. Uh, and it takes the household. It takes everybody. Uh, somebody had their hand up, wanted to say something. Anthony, go ahead. Yeah. Can uh, Can you read that list again, uh, Pastor Ronnie? The list of the songs? Uh, yeah. What was it, 18 or that whole 19. list? It gives, it, it gives some instructions, Dell instructions. Okay. Uh, Singing songs and hymns and spiritual songs among yourself and, mm -hmm. and making music to the Lord in your hearts and give thanks for everything to God, the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christian behavior, the way the children of God are supposed to behave. He gives a list of negativity. Don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. And then he Good gets point. there and says, he reminds the church, he reminds the body of believers, this is how a Christian Great. looks, acts, and sounds. Great.
and, 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 and we and speak you know all what you, you know what anthony the good list is almost as scary as the bad list yes yes <laughs> yes exactly that's my point you know He's that because boy me. boy did he put that bar high because who walks around singing songs and praise the lord hallelujah i mean i, I know some that. I know Frank, some. Telling I us do to know do some. That. But Frank, when was the last time I called you up and started singing spiritual songs? I'm mean, thanking but, God. I don't do it. Not lately. But <laughs> so <laughs> both of those lists are earth shattering. They should shake you to your core because how far you fall short. He boy, did he raise that bar high. But oh watch this way. I'll give you a scripture. I'm told uh, that God sings songs over us. So even to imitate God, come on, go ahead. Here's what's what's happening a little bit. Uh, again, Sarpendam, he's writing a spiritual letter to the church in Ephesus, and Ephesus is starting to look like the world. So he's reminding them, this is how the body of believers look. Once a kai jilabin, once a kai volin, once a kai sile jili ando yilo. And he's reminding them, this is how you look. Get a Devleski Fatsa Papale on the Chokur. Get the Christ-like character back in your walk, back in your attitude, back in the way you talk. Because here's the thing. Don't drink too much. Don't do this too much. Why? Because if you allow it, was it a Kangari? She might bring Jardel Odell. A Lumia bring Jardel. And it's okay. People don't mind looking and blending in like the world anymore and calling it church. And uh, Paul is saying, no, 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 no. Here's Christian behavior. Here's what a Christian sounds like, looks like. Here's the attitude and the character of the children of God. And how many times we were with a bunch of people together and we just allowed ourselves to be loose. Just allowed ourselves just, just to be loose. The kind of divano, we all let our hair down that day. <laughs> but yet at the end of that day, we called ourselves the church or we called ourselves servants. No, that's not what they look like, sound like, or act like. And this is why Paul gives this list where Wade be says, it's a high bar, but listen to me. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, it's achievable. It's livable. Oh, it's doable. Oh, no. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, because he mentions it. But when there is a spirit-filled child of God, listen to me, there's a contrast, there's a difference. The church of God doesn't look like the world, and it shouldn't anymore. Amen. Uh, I think that's why I think that's why we're at where we're at right now in the church, where how far we fall short i'm speaking about myself of course like uh, well you're going, you're going this to is a foreign this is a foreign hurts. let's see no foolish talk uh singing songs to each other and and thanking god while we're talking to each other it's just not it's not going on it's, it's not, not practice happening. it's not got a problem, this, is, this, is a, this is a martian this is a spiritual martian we're talking about but wait let me and ask maybe, you a question let me ask yes. you a question because I, I, we have a little history together. We know our, each other for like a thousand years. I could remember a time that it was. Of course. Amen. Of Amen. Course, Wade, yeah. can, you, can you agree to that? 100%. Every church had their Camelot moment. There you go. All right. I remember that there guys. was a time there was. Hold on, gentlemen. Let me Let ask you guys a question. And, and, and it still is. It, it, the way I see it, Anthony, me and you, Judge Heads, you, you're not going to get any closer. Me, you, John Brown, Ronnie, and Fat Frank, Wade. I will not let my hair down in front of anybody. I will only let my hair down with Ronnie Legs, Fat Frank, John Brown, and Akazami. When we're together, we will not let our, uh, we, I will let my hair down with you gentlemen. But I see people today, I, you would say he's a pastor. You might get in. He's a deacon. I don't know, Anthony. Hundred percent. I can't see people going. I've been. I I, I got on on the casinos. I hit a jackpot, Joe. That that's not that's not church today, Shalali. Well, I was going to ask you a question, Shalali. Did you ever come out of church? I'm talking about you walked out of church, <laughs> and you see a bunch of guys together. 
and you you just don't want to get close to that conversation show yes this is right outside the door mm. like forget about the coarse jokes and things like that how about this one let me tell you Shavuhali. Chordem is the right way. This is in the parking lot, Shavuhali. Yet we don't say one it. time, one time. They don't look at that. <laughs> but which which is worse? Which is worse in the parking lot talking about what you did that week or doing it that week and not talking about it and well, hiding? I think it's all the same thing. Thing. <laughs> which which is what which which uh, you to go to the next level? Which, which yeah, but is funny, my, my that's it's shameful because when you're in the light nothing is hidden that sees everything nothing is hidden i omanus guy son of tunatico but the old things behind closed doors like you know he's getting away but it's not the christian's as, attitude as church workers and and walter touched on this point i don't know if you're working in church right now or not walter but as church workers walter said an important phrase let letting your hair down and we do that when we're amongst fellow elders or amongst uh, teachers and 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 guess what we we really have our own ugly click sometimes and maybe that's going to change and that's we right. get into we get into talking about uh church politics and about everything else and and think that it's because god's name is mentioned or because the church's name is mentioned that it's okay i'm talking about myself i'm pointing 100 well, wait, wait, but, wait, that, 100%. but there's, there's a word for that and that's called a hypocrite we're no no, actually, no wait. when we do it's that political. when we do that we're no worse than fat frank's men in the parking lot that he was talking about we're, we're really we're re and we know better that's a different those little guys in the parking lot maybe they don't they're not even on the first base spirit it can cause just as much damage if not more i'll take right. i'll take the correction my I point agree. i didn't make my point show honey when this conversation is made do we hang around it or do we go away from it telling these people not with words but that's with right, actions Frankie. i don't want to be part of this yeah, but uh, the show, honey, let's and, let's and I think that's, that's enough. It depends on who it is. Sometimes I'll light right into them. There you go. Right. That's, you that's, go. <laughs> that's yeah, why but, I almost got that's why I almost got whipped a couple times in church. Sometimes I'll I'll light right into them. I'll say, do yeah, we really to do this? Go ahead, Walter. But let me share this with oh. you. Let's take it a step further. Why we do it, Wade, is like I can let my hair down with Ronnie Legs and with Fat Frank and with John Brown because may John have cheap it up out of this, but I won't do it in front of the congregation because they look up to me and then I will drop them and then you're in trouble with God. This but I know right that here, John Brown and Fat Frank is going to pray for me when I'm in error. This this bar that he was raised right here by these two lists, let me tell you something. There ain't no room for this guy we drop and this guy will be okay. It's I not agree. there. I agree. It's pure light. That's pure light. There is no darkness there at all. Nothing. We got no room for for error, and that's scary, guys. That's and very yeah, scary. Wait, if I is... confide in you, I know you're gonna pray with me, and you're gonna you're gonna say, "Hey, fellas, Walter fell. We gotta pray with him. You made a mistake." Uh, that, that is, yes, I agree. This, this is, gonna this work. is and you know what? Guys. This this is. I promise you that this this these verses here, man, did they shake up the church that they were written i can't I think, imagine i think they're shaking us up right of course they, yeah. They're, they're, yeah. open my eyes but, 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 but what a what a, a, a shaking uh i mean it's true and when i read this this morning uh i put it on speaker and i play it and venus hears it and i know what's in venus <laughs> i know what venus is thinking because i do all these things okay I do the foolish talk and the coarse joking, and I, I'm talking with the boys on the phone. So I had to, I had to play other verses because I know she. Yeah, do you hear that? <laughs> you hear that? I you know what? Wait, listen to this. I was talking about. We were talking about the scripture, and we was talking about other people. Now this is this is now we are playing it to ourselves now. Then now we're saying. Now we're saying, Geek, we do this and we do that. Wait, I know you since 40 years. And if you can, we get together, Walter, can I, Walter, can I sit over there with you? I cannot, can I 
John Brown, stop it. Stop it. I know what you are. I can see you can come up to me. This is why Walker says I could lay my hair down, which I have not anyways. But I could do that. What means is with them say the I don't do my chachibasa because you know what? Now see how to have to the Jerez Trudad, I see how to have Frankis. I miss some. So when we get together, we can say a few things because you know what? And now these scriptures over here that we're reading, we're now we're taking them personal. Amen. Now this is what scripture is supposed to be. Amen. And I think it's causing, I think it's causing a, a growth because it's, it's, it's a rebuke. I mean, we all, every one of us in here said, well, I, 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 this, I do this. I do. So it's causing a rebuke and uh, not only a rebuke, but it's causing a correction. And then, uh, maybe we'll think about it the next time we see a circle with a, a poor conversation going on, or right. maybe we'll think about it before we even bring up that uh, foolish divano kaichito. But you know, sometimes that's even politics in church, foolish divano and taino, but we don't have to talk about it because it's only going to bring it's only going to bring uh, uh, somebody down and even bring you down. But let's we got ten more. But verses, it, make, it can make you impure. I mean, that's right. That's one of the things on the list that will make we'll take you, you back impure. to bitterness, right? I'm uh, not let's, even let's, bitterness, just the just the bringing out the corruption and discussing it makes ev not only the the speaker impure, but it makes the listener. It spreads the impurity beyond. Very and good. It, it's a, a, a like a poison. You're right. You're right. Uh, let's get through these ten verses. Dixon will told. Now he's talking about the Christian's household. And uh, and further submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Reverence for Christ. Oh, Manusosko Trayo is Christ is the center. Everything revolves around Christ. In the beginning, it said, uh, be as imitators uh, of God uh, in love because of Christ. Palasotendastuko Jesus. Uh, at the end of chapter four, Penas forgive us. Christ forgave you. Akanamuto bear with one another or. Uh, 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 Submit to one another out of the reverence of Christ for wives, for les jubilees. This means submit to your husband as the Lord, uh, as to the Lord, uh, and for the husband is uh, for as the for a, for a husband is the head of his wife, as Christ is the head of the church. This means to to, to, to submit because I'm so Jesus, the head of the church, I will say, they don't to submit to him, then we will meet able to submit to the husband. Now you can take that. I'm going to tell you, you see what I'm talking about here? There you go. And Lord over, I told the divine rules, but Jesus in love and in compassion and in grace works with the church. But this will talk for a husband, uh, for a husband is the head of his wife, as Christ is the head of the church. Uh, he is the he is the savior of his body, the church. As the church submits to Christ, so wives should submit to their husbands and everything. For husbands, now you think you're off the hook, but no. For husbands, this means love your wife just as Christ loved the church. How did Christ love the church? He doesn't. He gave himself. He gave himself up. Uh, and that's what the that's a that's an even household. When you understand a woman to the to submit to the husband, a, a, a husband doesn't take advantage of that. They got your faith, but he puts in lords over, and he's and he loves the wife. She told Briga Pilate, she told Chino, she told Kerila Nalati, Arakola, Lil Samalata, and that's what God does for the church. Ronnie, go ahead, Pastor Ronnie. Uh, this this is a very long, really, what it is. It's an illustration, because if you go down to 32, it's going to tell you that we are talking about, this is the Father, the Son, and the Church. When we go down to the ahead, read it all, I think so, you see, it's an illustration about the Church. Go on, read on, and then once you're going to get to 32, the when you get to 32, it the explains The has to reflect Christ in everything, Dick Somotho. Uh, for wives, this means to submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husbands is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. He is the savior of his body, the church. As the church submits to Christ, so uh, you wives submit to your husbands in everything. For husbands, this means love your wives just as Christ loves the church. He gave up his life for her uh, to make her holy and clean, washed, 
by the cleansing of God's word. He did this to present her to himself a gracious church, a, a glorious church without spot or wrinkle or in any other blemish. Instead, she will be holy and without fault in the same way husbands ought to love their wives as they, as they love their own bodies. For a man who loves his wife actually shows love for himself. No one hates his own body, but feeds and cares for it, just as Christ cares for the church. And we are members of his body. As the scriptures say, a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife. And the two are united into one. Now, so now Uncle Johnny, this is an example of Ame in Christ. Go ahead, read 32. Mystery, but this is the illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. So again, I say each man must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must reject, uh, must, must respect her husband. <laughs> yeah, no good reject. Must no, respect no, no, her no. husband. What a what a beautiful example, Uncle John. Example, the very good. The Anezo cho relationship on the chokud sado relationship I su le Christos with the church. He puts up with my faults, so I gotta put up with her faults. No, okay, Kangri respects and honors God in everything. Via me, respectively. You know, I seen women, I seen women. Guys, so spiritual, they come and I've and, and I've talked to them and corrected them because they they're they're prayer warriors in church, but then pull a job being a homies. I then being a homies pull a job because Moton they think they're doing something good. I Moton, why he don't count the Bible when when he does come to church? Then it's pull a job. Moton, I got him here. I finally got him here. I then it's pull a job. They belittle him, and that's not what Christ does. Christ didn't belittle any one of us. Uh, uh, and uh, oh, oh, uh, he runs the household like a tyrant. And Childel, he doesn't, uh, he's not a tyrant. To choose right from wrong. To make, to, he puts up with our mistakes. A Bible will tell that he's patient with us. I mean, I may, in, 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 in the beginning, it said something that we got to keep in mind, to keep it in, in context, that in, in, to submit to one another in reverence for Christ. For the sake of Christ, they des way I did, did, to work it out. In reverence for Christ, they des respect. And that's a beautiful household. If we can apply that in our lives, then that's going to carry on to the church. That's going to carry on to the city. That's going to carry on to other lives. You're going to see other marriages, other households be changed. Why? Because now you're the example because you took the example from Christ in the church. Anybody else? I just want to say that that verse 22 could be very dangerous for the husbands. All right? If you just kind of like, hey, you're going to stop an argument. Listen to me. Wives, be subject to your own husbands. Now you could take that out of context. I feel like you're going to be a tyrant. You're going to be a chacho god now. Let's go whip my whip your son because that's I'm the boss. If you take it, in, because don't say take it scripture out of context. If because you just want to read 22, yeah. Yeah, now you will, now you got to read 23 now. All it is to explain the situation. <laughs> All it is. And you wives and your husbands got to take care of it. Your wives, the way Jesus took care of the church. Did you ever read? I'm most likely you, you, everybody has read it. The Songs of Solomon. Okay. <laughs> Zurali Bukwa. But yet, if you really look at it the way it's supposed to be, but the way it's the love read, God has to the church. It's a love, it's a love book with Jesus and the church. It is right, right. It, it, so, this is what these little couple of verses are saying. What, Solomon said in, I don't know how many verses, chapters is it, but that's what it's all about. Yeah, you, say that, you say that the Song of Solomon is 
Jesus, I, I agree with you 100% on that, Shavali. But it's also, for God so loved the world, Shavali. We're talking, yes. we're talking Old Testament too. How does God's, That's right. God's love for the world, Shavali. Pete, Pete Dixon will tell. It's enormous. Uncle, Fra Uncle Frankie Dixon will tell that Christ gave himself for the church he gave to it. protect it, to make it right. De la shuttle. I am a for the sake of Christ. We are me. We are me. To put the casa on our family to protect it, to make it right on Gladell. So stay. That's so right. How many times you heard this, Anthony? I'll get to you. How many times you heard Capo? Yeah, you pastor this. You go me. I be popular. I be like. Don't do my That's uneven. That's uneven. I too much to look for that. But you, Anthony, go ahead. Uh, yeah, every, everybody's on point. Excellent. 100%. But uh, I just want to remind us that he's writing to the same community. Uh -huh. It's still the Ephesians. He's writing to the same community. And as much, Pastor Ronnie, you're right. He's talking about the household. But here's the concern here. Your relationship is reflecting and affecting the church. It's still well, writing to a Christian community. And what he's saying is, husband, submit to your wife. Wife, submit to your husband. Really, you'll have a nice household. But people say to me, son, Christians, it's reflecting the church. Well, that's so, why you know, we, we started, Anthony, by saying unity in the church, holiness and purity in our lives, harmony in the homes. And then in six, we're getting stability in our stand. But if you have if you have an uneven in any one of those it affects every one of those it, it affects not only the household but we got to remember that he's still writing to the church so so every instructions there's a church on paul's mind it's affecting a congregation because here's the thing that's a christian couple that's an elder and his wife that's a pastor and his wife all these relationships reflect christianity uh I married a, a couple of people, Ronnie. Let us uh, couples and 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 That's the Lord problem. led me to hold pray. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. You mean you? He means he means he did the ceremony. Go ahead. You, mean, you was married before? <laughs> hey, hey. They got a lot of us country. Thank you, sir. It was a Mormonism. Go ahead. Uh -oh, that looks like one of me, my friend. <laughs> We're in trouble. Foolish talk. And. And, and God always leads me to say this. May this marriage represent Christ. Amen. That when people see them, they see a reflection of Amen. a Christ-centered marriage. And, and this is the thing that, yeah, it's important. But if you are a Christian couple, what it really affects and reflects is Christianity and the church to which you belong. You know, Anthony, it says, uh, Penga, that's why it says that every one of us, Miklam, Miklam, uh, 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 security, Amarodara, Amaride, we became one, Sade Kangri, Suyek, Lidevesa. So we leave uh, one place to go to another. Why? Uh, because it's what a beautiful thing that he compares. Uh, Amaro Trayo and the church in Christ with marriage. Isn't that amazing? that's a commitment that's never to be broken. Go exactly. Ahead. Let me ask you guys a question. See, make, see if I'm wrong here, Shovali. I think he's bringing up harmony. Why is he bringing up a man and a woman out of all of that, Shovali? Harmony because in the home. Harmony between mm -hmm. a man and his wife, Shovali. The household runs great, runs perfectly. And I'll tell you harmony what, before when there's harmony, so it's not funny. No, I'm not Mr. Trudivano, but I'll tell you what else takes harmony music, which he just left off of. Which I just mentioned. Good. Very good. Now, if there's harmony between Christ and the church, that's going great too. How did this now? If there's harmony not only between his wife and his wife, but if there's harmony between the, the church members, how did this now? We got a good church going, that's right. I it reflects know. everything. But okay, of course, let, let joking me. is not harmony. How did this? Uh, 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 being a hypocrite no. is not harmony. This is what, Can, this is what I'm getting out of this. Janelle Odell, if we can deal with the wives, we can deal with anybody in the church. <laughs> <laughs> Janelle Odell. 
I think this but is, I, I this really is think a, it's harmony. I think he's getting it is. Let's I have harmony. And, and he, that's you know why what? he's bringing all these together. That's the thing about the worship is good too. Yeah. Uh, Fat Frank, you know what's what's sad to me as as we're talking about this and Paul is addressing this. Asunen, uh, Mr. Zitko, Asunen, Mr. Zico, Asunen, wait, Asunen. He's addressing this because people disrupted it. Mm -hmm. He's addressing it. Submit to your wife. Submit to your husband. Because I've you low It's sad well, you... because somebody disrupted the harmony. Uh, listen, look when you study not in the home. look at the book, when you look at the book of Ephesians and look at the temple of Kachan Diane, you'll know why he said there has to be harmony in the house. Isn't oh, that, a, isn't that talking. sad? Yes, yes. It's sad because he's addressing it because apparently that you know everything was maybe going okay, but if you know a group of people, it could be a group, it could be one person disrupts the harmony in the church, disrupts the harmony in the home. But hey, listen to me. Aratu katarkudo freno kai sairimo cho marriage cho walk le devlesa chibuchi andodel yeg geno sairimo swakko fellow disrupt the harmony Anthony O Paul is being used by the Holy Spirit I Janelo Paul lengo atmosphere Janelo Paul lengo foro Exactly. He was there. Bishlo lensa. Janel, what he's dealing with. Saro du chole de vesco. Janel o du chole de vesco. Kai sam dixo penas o Jesus and the vesco gujimos. Chi penas kuntate de lesli and the lumia. Bararakli and the lumia. Janame kaili. Janame what they're dealing with. Kamesimas, like Paul visited Ephesians, Christ visited earth. I know what they're dealing with. Arakli. I got a eta lesco warning. Eta. Nayo Paul lesco warning. Have unity on the Kangari, have purity on the Chotrayo, have harmony on the Chokud, and then next you can stand firm on the Chostan against the Duzmano in the evil days in the where you're living. Go ahead, Anthony. Recognize the disruption. Recognize the situation or recognize the disruption, what's going to cause discord and disrupt the harmony recognize it through the power of the holy spirit amen like, well, that, well, that what we need because here's the thing it's time to get back to prayer it's time to get back to worship it's time to get back in our word it's time to tell but avelic manus avelic situation disrupts the harmony and i pray that we will all be on guard to <coughs> recognize from miles away when that disruption comes to try and disrupt the harmony, Fed Frank. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a testimony, and then I'm gonna ask uh, if anybody has anything else to share, and then uh, we'll close. Uh, this hit home to me as I was reading this and as I was studying it. Uh, and in chapter six, he's gonna start by talking about the children. Uh, listen to this. Uh, before Christmas, Uncle John, me and Uncle John had a conversation just before the program. Musa says they dab duma kau sprint the la sharam go to the phone. I nervous in the gaje and Pete. I got off on a rant uh, way. Uh, I got off on was a uh, internal things. I'm belittling the gaje. I'm student sima la gaja sa was I'm just out of character really. I owe Christopher Mogo pendas when I hung up the phone pinga. Tati, that's not very Christian like, but whatever, Panap, they get you nervous, Panap. A guy on the Philippines lie, nervous, he'll cheat, they'll do my English. Oh, Christopher Mongo, doesn't matter really, Christian some. And in pride, in pride, cheat them, Andra. And I just continued it. And let me tell you something, it carried over to my house, it carried over to my relationship with the kid, was, yes. was I was snapping on the kids. Because I gave the Duzmano a foothold. And but let me tell you something. Thank God for his grace. Sarkerilo Manus, Sarkerilo Jesus, and the Kangri may get at the Bula Mete Kirizan because Meklaz, the Dikav Mugorong, the La Sharav, I Tejaz Angle. I'm going to be aware of that now. They now make up the little things, they remold. They are now disruption. Manas harmony on the Monday. Manas harmony on the family. Manas harmony. I was upset. And when I thought about it, it went all back to there because 
O Manu Janel, Caipera. O Manu Janel, where it starts. O Manu Janel, where the where the cold course jokes are at, or where the place is, guy. They'll pay on the presence of the best. O Manu Janel, and I know that it started there really because that's what gave the Dusmano a foothold. Sari Sardente, Dab Dumaka, Nazwarta, Sari Sardente, to be little, maybe a child of God. And it, it, it really uh, paid a, uh, I paid a price for it. And, but I want to thank God for his correction. And this is what harmony in the house means. Because Baron Leglati to bring correction. Baron Leglati to Janel Le Deves. Whitey and Chris correct me all the time. Uh, and, and that's the glory to God because Janel Leglati or presence Le Deblesco. And that's to, to the glory of God. That's what we need more of. We need more of a, a, a house guy, a uh, Sando Del. A uh, house guy, Anel Harmony, and that's going to bring harmony to the ministry. That's going to bring harmony to the city, and that's going to bring harmony. And that's the truth. Uh, uh, and I, 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 I say that to the glory of God, and I thank the Lord. Bariona Maraklati, Bariona Marakara, Manai Sarsaz, my Dumud guy, a home extra spiritual, I occurred disaster. No, we're learning that it starts at home, and when it's at home, Right, then Kajile Kangari Wata, then Kajilo Foro Wata, then Suchonle Manusai, Barole Kangari, and it'll be a mature church. Amen. 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 But let me let me ask you a question, Pastor. Dan Dumakai Gaji at the Philippines, Kemangas Chuyas Dibos. You never get the same one over again. You never get the same Gaji. No, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, I fell on my knees. I pin him devil. I can never get in touch with that gaji, but I've sinned against you. I yeah. sinned against you because ultimately that's what happens. We sin against God. Uh, and it, believe me, if the gaji was there, uh, if I could get a hold of her, I would because to correct it. But Pachama, if uh, that's that's the Holy Spirit, Walter. And I know that Walter, you've been in situations that you apologize to gaji. Uh, we've all been in situations, guy. We apologize to gaji, supermarket gaji, waitress, whatever it is. Uh, well, here, let me give you a quick testimony. Uh, you know me with truck drivers. I met a truck driver two hours later. Let me tell you. Oh, bang, I demanded. Night demon. Bang. I want to kill. And I'm so nervous. I'm hollering at the Kalaho. To the point, I even apologize. Glory to God. The guy just seen that Barujini I gave him the sinner's prayer. Big, <laughs> Big difference when the Holy Spirit touches you. As God oh. is working in us. <laughs> let me tell you, we talked about last week, oh, oh Anthony Pendaz Barasopinga, don't let the atmosphere change you. And let me tell you something. You make a difference in your church. There may be a problem with a pastor. There may be a problem with the deacon, with the elder. But don't stop going. Don't stop. Continue to show that light. Listen to what I told somebody. If you're a better Christian, than you are in the Romani Kangari, bring some of that Amindi. We can do mm -hmm. some of that. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's continue. I, I want to, I don't want to leave without uh, remembering what Paul said right from the start. All right. Come on. Imitate God. Therefore, Amen. in everything you do. Amen. Amen. It just comes down to that. Joke. That's what we're talking about. We all know the character of God. I don't know God. I don't know. We all know it. And we all <laughs> should imitate it. And yes, sometimes we fall. But we need to get up. I'll give you a better one, Uncle Frank. Sometimes we fall, but sometimes we make the conscious choice. Yeah. So the other day, at the, show, the other day, I, I was I'm not gonna, arguing I'm not, with a guy. I didn't fall into card. belittling the guy. I made the I, conscious choice to double up all the job. Go ahead. I, I was arguing with a credit card guy the other day. Show, I, she's just not listening. She just keeps repeating herself. And with a, why you keep repeating yourself? Why do you think I'm stupid? Show, at the end of the conversation, Dixon to them, ma'am, please don't take this uh, uh, personal. I'm upset hey. with the situation. You're doing a great job. Uncle Frankie, what does it mean? What? Thank you. Why are we talking about credit card gaja and uh, machine shop people, truckers? Because uh, 
Christ is showing out. Christ is uh, being revealed more and more, and we're becoming more and more uh, imitators of Christ and of God. I have no compassion. I have no conviction. I have no correction. Nobody was there. Nobody was there for you to correct you. Correct you. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I spoke to a young man that got a voicemail from his five-year-old. It's no good. I mean, that's the voice of the Holy Spirit. Don't undermine that. God can use a five-year-old to correct you. That's right. So I thank the Lord for his correction. I thank the Lord for uh, we're growing. We're going to go into chapter six to learn about. Uh, it's going to talk about more of the household, but then we're going to learn how to stand. And uh, let me tell you something. Uh, we've learned how to we've learned how to walk. We've learned how to. A Bible was told that the, in the beginning of this, we learned that we're seated in the, uh, the heavenly places with Christ. Now we're going to learn how to stand. Butibad manus dusmanu yuzil circumstances, situations, manusan to push us around. But we're going to learn how to stand on dodel to hold our ground, and that happens when there's a a, a mature Christian. Gaijanello character in the best one. I think we've learned that through these five chapters. Anybody else? And then we're going to close in prayer. Okay. Steve Churan, would you close in prayer? Yes, sir. Love you, brother. Thank you for this opportunity to come and learn about your word, Father God. Amen. Devla, I pray that what we learned tonight, we would take with us, Murad Devla, that we would we would be imitators of you, Murad Devla, that we would submit to each other, to our families, and more importantly, to you, Lord Jesus. Devla, I pray, Father God, Devla, for next week, Lord God, that you would bless Ronnie, the boys, as they study and prepare for it, Lord. And I pray that you watch over all of us until we meet again next week, Father God, Devla. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Before we go, guys, uh, oh, Christopher Malo, Whitey, oh, oh Stevie, uh, Josh, if he's on here, uh, after every program, the, they, they talk to me and there's some great points. Guys, if you guys got any points, if you guys want to share yeah. something, hey. share, it with the, share it with the guys, share it with the room. Uh, if not, get ready for uh, next week. Crickets. All right. I love, I love to do what I got. I got prayer line in 10 minutes. God bless you. 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 God bless you.